All right, today it was Washington, D.C. that sent the markets on a wild ride. First, you had some jittery investors. They got a little nervous after Donald Trump Jr. released what he said was an email chain that led to the disputed Russian meeting. And later on in the session, you had stocks rebounding when GOP Senate leaders declared they're delaying the August recess and they're going to put health care back on the front burner. Here with me now for a look at how investors should be interpreting all of this, we have Recon Capital CIO Kevin Kelly. You know, Kevin, it was very interesting to me because the market fell more than 100 points on news that Donald Trump Jr. was releasing these emails. Why did they get so scared by that? I think it was over a half of a percent, which was pretty significant given that, that what's coming up, and that's earnings season. And everyone's been really excited about the earnings, but the market dropped because they're worried about what can come out of Washington. They need Washington to unleash a lot of fiscal policy so we can see hard economic data come through. We so they didn't like the it. idea that he was feeding this collusion narrative. No, no. It, it got scared for a second, but then there was a lot of backup when you saw Mitch McConnell come out and say, you know what, we're going to stick through this August recess. And we saw some numbers that came out in the jobs report showing that hiring actually did increase. And so that was a bunch of good news. So the market then got back to let's focus on economic moves that can make this, move, make this market move forward. So when you look at valuations right now, a lot of people are concerned because we're getting up there, right? It's good. Yeah. Hey, you, you like being where we are, but let's face it, ever since Donald Trump was elected, this market has been on an absolute tear, reaching new highs every single week. So at some point, you need something to back it up. Yeah. And isn't that the tax reform? Yeah, it is tax reform as well as health care. So I think the market, you can see health care is one of the reasons that the market's going to move up is because what's come out of leaks that have come mm -hmm. out about what this plan's going to look like, CBOE numbers right. has moved down or up based off of health care information. So health care is a biggie. Health care is meantime, a giant big yeah, one, the, right? The but, market uh, it got a little distracted today yeah. by none other than Donald Trump Jr. Uh, he did go on record just moments ago in an interview that is going to air later tonight. We have another excerpt for you that just came in. I want to share with you. Here is Donald Trump Jr. speaking to Fox News' Sean Hannity. Did you tell your father anything about this? No. Uh, it was such a nothing. There was nothing to tell. I mean, I wouldn't have even remembered it until you start scouring through the stuff. It was, it was literally just a wasted 20 minutes, which was a shame. <laughs> so nothing to tell. He never told his dad. He didn't even remember it until all of this came up. But somebody remembered it there, Kevin. And, and do you get the impression, given all the leaks that we have seen to The New York Times and to The Washington Post, that there are people in Washington that really and truly want to distract Donald Trump and his administration and other rep Republican leaders from doing the job at hand? Yeah, I mean, you can see that. And, and everybody's kind of alluded to a deep state also trying to, to hinder his progress. But we see that it's not deterring him. You can see what's happened with the veteran of affairs, uh, uh, Secretary Shulkin, what he's doing with the reform there. And that's starting to play out. And tax reform is actually a bipartisan an issue. We saw it in Barack Obama's budget. We mm -hmm. saw it in Hillary Clinton, especially on the repatriation. The market, like you said, seems to be extended, especially where we are in the economic cycle at 18 times this year's earnings. But we've been so hampered by rules and regulations, 22,000 pages of rules and regulations out of Dodd-Frank alone. Amazing. That's that's actually going to the wayside. So right. the economic prowess of the American engine and ingenuity and spirit is going to be unlocked with this administration. And so Hopefully. that's why the market rebounds. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, uh, uh, the market needs it. They want it. Less regulation, lower taxes. Good thing. And that's why we're trading at historical <laughs> highs. Exactly. Kevin, good to see you. Thank you so much.